Hello, I'm Doug Davison with SmiteWorks. Today we're going to show Fantasy Grounds Unity Lighting and some of the new features that Carl Pender has been building into the system for us. So right now I've got a map which uh, is a map from one of the Pathfinder Society 2 scenarios. And so if you uh, don't want any spoilers, maybe maybe avoid this one section. Uh, but this is what the map looks like. We have line of sight defined. If I look at my line of sight definitions here, uh, I can see that I've got it all kind of laid out. Uh, I'm looking at just the raw map from the assets folder, so I'm not actually using the one with the, the encounters placed and story elements and all of that sort of stuff. But you'll see that if I zoom in, it's got a bunch of individual columns that are all marked off. It's got uh, different sections here. Uh, and then over here, there's a door. So I'm going to uh, jump right in. So in play mode, uh, if I was to drag and drop a, uh, a person onto the map, let's grab Emu Emu here, and let's grab Ren here. Ren is a human, Emu Emu is a uh, goblin. So that's what it would look like if I turn on line of sight. And if I wanted to show what the player looked like here, you'll see player vision. This is a lit portion of the map, and as they move around, it would just reveal everything that's kind of there. That's with the default line of sight. So I'm going to move back to here, turn off the line of sight. I'm going to go into enable lighting and disable lighting. So now it's not lit at all. Um, so actually I'm going to go here first and I'm going to go to my lighting tab and you'll see we have add lights, we have token lights, token vision, and ambient lighting. Uh, ambient lighting is more for outdoor maps so I'm not going to use ambient lighting here but I am going to go in and I'm going to add some lights I'm going to add torches wherever I see torches, uh, and that's pretty much it for now. So I'm going to select from this preset. Uh, we have torches, we have lanterns, and you'll see it changes the near and far, the amount of drop-off, the color of the light, uh, and then I have candles as well. With candle, it'll have a flicker. So let me show you what a candle would look like here. So if I add a candle, um, and now I'm going to add a torch over here, so you can see what the differences are between torches and candles. So now if I go back to here and I turn on my lighting, you'll see I've got uh, you know a candle and it's kind of flickering right there. And then here I've got brighter torches. So I could decide if I want those to be candles uh, or torches. So that's up to you to kind of decide as a GM. So let me go back to add light and I'm going to turn off this lighting mode for now. Actually. Uh, if I turn off the player vision and turn on lighting, it's a little bit easier. I can see a little bit better. So now I can go into my lighting and I can say, uh, all right, let's add some more lights. Maybe let's add a handful of candles here. Maybe candles here and here. If I want to treat those as candles. And then over here, treat these as candles. Okay, and I've got two brighter torches. All right, so that's the uh, the little bit of lighting that I'm going to add. And if I want to change them later on, like let's just let's say I wanted to make them all torches, I could just select all of them and change the drop down and make them torches. Now it's very well lit. Up to you how you want to do that, or you can change them back. So let's go ahead and keep it like that for now. Uh, and then I'm just going to show you what it looks like when the players move through the map now with lighting turned on. And then I'm going to enable the preview the player vision. Um, and now if I select this human and I have the human kind of move through here, you'll see that they're able to explore. Let me zoom in a bit so you can kind of see. So they can kind of still see the outline of areas that they've previously explored with the fog of war. And I'll use the keyboard here to move around. And they can explore. And you see here, there's actually, there is a passageway that they could go to, but they can't really see. So they're moving in the dark, and they can keep moving until they hit a wall. So now I'm going, trying to go down, and I can't go down. I can go to the right. I'm completely in the in the dark. If I just turn off what lighting looked like, you could see that I'm actually, excuse me, I'm actually in another room, uh, but the player is just kind of moving blindly in this area. All right, so that is. Uh, what a human might see. Let's show you what Emu Emu would see. So Emu Emu 
is a goblin. And so if I go to, to here, I can select my token vision and I can say, okay, well, Emu Emu has dark vision. So I'm going to turn on dark vision and add that vision as a characteristic for Emu Emu. So now that Emu Emu moves through, this is lit. Uh, go back to play mode. So this is lit so I can move through and I still see everything the same way that the human saw it. But now if I move down, you'll see here, Emu Emu can clearly see that there is a passageway and you'll notice that it's actually gray. That's because dark vision is without color. So all of this area that Emu Emu is moving through, they can see and they can move around, but they can't quite make out the colors unless they get into an area that has actual real natural light. So if I move over into this area here where the human is and where Ren is, so let's say Ren realizes she doesn't like being in a completely darkened area. The only reason why it's lit now is because uh, Emu Emu is in there. Let me move Emu Emu out of the way here. All right, so again, she's in a completely darkened area. She can't see anything. So if she goes to here, uh, she can add a token light. So she pulls, pulls a candle out of her pack and adds the candle. So now she can just see a very small area around her. Uh, let's go back to here, play mode. And now she can explore with a candle. So again, if she goes back up to this one area where she couldn't previously see, she can now see that there's a passageway here that she can follow. If she wants to change out that uh, for a torch, then I can go back into, sorry, token light make sure she's selected and then I can change it to a torch. Now she has uh, a much wider kind of spray of light that she's, she's giving out. All right. And so again, here she's now lit this whole area with torch light. If I go back to Emu Emu, Emu Emu moves around with his dark vision as he gets here. You notice he actually has some color. You can see some color now because he's seeing the benefit of the torch light, at least in addition to his light or his vision. Okay, so that is, in a sense, um, you know, some of the lights that you can do. And um, I'll show you one other thing real quick, is if you wanted to add all of the layers, let's go back to here. I'm, I'm going to select all of these real quick. And you can delete them all. So if I'm building this map, and I don't care about the lighting, then what I could do is get rid of all of these here, delete these layers. What you may want to do is you may want to come through here and say add painting layer. And then now that you've got a painting layer selected, then go in and add your lights. And I can add, say, torches or uh, let's say candles. And you'll see it'll add them all. So now I've got those. If I go back to here, turn on my lighting, it's got those all lit. And I can turn it on or off um, for the player. So on or off. Move Emu up in here. Or let's move her. Okay, yeah, so she has to be able to see it, and once she can see it, if she has a line of sight to it, then uh, it's visible or not visible. It looks like that's a small bug. It should be able to be toggled on or off here, in addition to if you select these. You can select them all, and I can turn them off that way, and then they'll be off. Uh, but it should be able to be on the whole layer. Okay, that's the quick preview of the lighting. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay with us as we kind of keep working through a few more of the issues. We'll get it all uh, straightened out. Thanks.